Tariq. How stupid can Tariq be? Blasting in bitches like it's Tuesday? Haven't they taught him this in sex ed? Wear the Jimmy Mac, the condoms, or the Buster Red? Dumbass. All right. Now that episode two is in the books, and we're going to be getting to episode three this Friday. So I was kind of wondering about, like, you know, because in the trailer we did see that um, Davis was talking to, like, Tariq and Braden, where he was just like, oh, you got to make this guy trust you. Right, you got to do something to make him trust you. So I'm kind of hoping this guy is actually Mahoney because, again, we haven't uh, had any, like, uh, mentions about Mahoney since season two, right, where Mecca was was telling, I guess, Kane that, yeah, he, he you know, Mahoney was his enemy. So I was like, all right. And you would think that Mahoney would also be uh, Noma's enemy, but I guess Mecca was like a personal issue i guess that was personal with mecca so that probably had nothing to do with uh noma but again if this guy isn't mahoney then it would either be the story probably got dropped or mahoney probably might be saved for later but again we're gonna see this friday but i kind of hoping that this guy is actually mahoney so that way we can get the story back on track here right and also too since we got the confirmation that diane is actually pregnant right and we see like Monet actually screaming in the trailer. So we don't know if she's screaming in the trailer because she found out that Drew and Diana did have something to do with her shooting. Because as I said before, she suspects Kane to be in the one to have taken a shot on her, even though her point would make sense because Kane wants to be the one in control. He wants to be the one uh, head of the family and wants to be the one to lead the family. So you would think that by Kane shooting uh, Monet in her thoughts, Right. You know, technically, she's in his way for him to lead. You would think that. But if, um, you know, that's not really the case. And seeing how she was overhearing the conversation between like Drew and Diana um, in the last episode, you would think that she would have like suspicions over them because they was the maddest. You know, everybody was pissed at it, but they they took it the hardest. Right. But you would think that, too, she would kind of like distance herself from the family. Like I can't trust none of y'all. Like, I don't know who did it, right? Because everybody had a motive to, like, take her out, but she doesn't really see it that way. She sees it more of a, she's trying to redeem herself, right? As we've seen where she was trying to talk to Drew, she messed up the first time, but then the second time she was trying to get it back on track where she was trying to, like, make amends for everything that she did because in her mind, she figured she was toughening up the kids, but in reality, she was destroying them, right? And that wasn't really good and that wasn't really teaching so her methods was really fucked so i'm like all right and then you know we got diana who's officially pregnant right and i said it in my last video i was just like well if if it is Tariq's baby then he has to be the dumbest man ever because it's just like he got he got i wouldn't say played but diana basically was in his room fishing for evidence twice First she stole his drugs and then she got evidence on the whole the whole Lorenzo thing. So I was just like, come on now. How stupid can Tariq be to hide all this evidence in his room and he gets found out twice? Twice, man. Twice. So it's just like I like you can't even root for the guy because it's like he's he's this dumb. You would think that he would have hidden all of his information in that um room where he put the money in you would think he would have kept everything there uh, she wouldn't have known to search up there like this was smart of him so i'm like why but i'm gonna tell you guys this because there's a trick that some of these women actually do where let's just say you in emotion right everything's going well and there's a trick that they do with the jimmy mac where they slowly slide it off and you're not paying attention because things is really good and then when it gets really good, it's already too late. So <laughs> either or, it's either Salim's baby or it's Tariq's baby, right? And I want to, I already said before, um, if it's Tariq's baby, he's the dumbest person ever. But if it's Salim's baby, I'm all right with it because Salim really did like the Diana, but Diana was so in, infatuated with Tariq. She uh, probably did a trick on him. I would assume so, because Tariq's so stupid. Like, I would assume she probably did that trick on him. Like, I play an ability, damn it. <laughs> I'm going to slide the Jimmy Mac off, and you won't even notice it, because Tariq is just stupid. But, again, we're going we're gonna to really, that's, that's going to take a minute, though, for us to, like, really get the information, because there was also in the trailer that we seen, like, I guess Tariq point a gun at Diana. Well, there was actually, uh, 
multiple things that happened in the trailer. We see Diana and Tariq talking at one point, and then we see uh, Tariq pointing a gun at Diana. So I'm kind of wondering, like, when uh, are those, you know, I mean, that's going to take a while, though, for to, like, really build up where we're going to see, like, everything happening, even when Tariq is jacking up Salim. So I'm like, oh, boy, oh, damn. Like, all of that's going to get really good at one point. But I'm just like, damn, we're going to be waiting a while, a while for that to, like, happen. But, um, you know, let me know in the comment section down below on what do you guys think about the whole um, Don Carter seemingly going to be, I guess, like, trying to, like, put the pieces together. Because it's a lot of information that he has to, like, gather up as well. Because uh, we've seen him arrest um, Obi in, in the last episode. We've seen him arrest Obi because he's trying to, like, get information about the whole green cards thing. And then we see him, like, um, Noma. She's also have, like, a little suspicion of Obi, just a little bit. Right, because you got to keep in mind, Mecca, Mecca betrayed her. He betrayed her for for um, Monet. So, and then Obi, kind of like betrayed her for Tariq with the whole green cards thing. So, again, she's not stupid. Like she got one eye open on a few things, which I kind of like on Noma's character because it, she doesn't seem too stupid. She doesn't seem too stupid. Like she seems like she's sort of got things under control, sort of, sort of under control, right, even though she got played the first time, right, but she does got some things under control, so we're going to be waiting a while until things kind of, like, pop off between her and Obi, and then eventually, when she finds out the truth about it, and she's going to be pissed about it, Obi ain't going to have another chance, and most likely, she, um, she's going to probably figure a way of taking him out, she's going to kill Obi, and if Kane is the proper man to, like, be brought up, then sure, then you will probably might see Kane being the one, you know, taking Obi's position, right? It's going to be interesting as well. And also to um, Effie, because I know there's, like, a lot of chatter about, like, Effie, you know, um, like, her character, because it's like, yeah, she's trying to, like, get back into Therese's good graces, but then at the same time, she's with... Uh, Kane, so, again, it's like, I think she's still gonna be on the line here, where she's gonna be, like, in the middle of things, but if she finds out, I guess, the whole, because, <laughs> again, it's just not, a, it's not, it's a matter of time until word gets out, like, yo, Diana's pregnant, and, I mean, how would, how would Effie actually feel about this situation, knowing that she also liked it, Tariq, as well, but then find out that Tariq's the father, <laughs> that's gonna put things in the cross here because in the trailer Tariq was already talking saying that you know uh Noma Drew and Kane like they they gotta go like he wants to kill them all so I'm like okay that's gonna hinder the plan if the baby's actually his because if it is then uh, I mean come on now he can't kill them all because well Somebody will actually die. I, Drew, Diana, I don't know. Somebody actually, they, they, somebody will die, though, because, again, Monet is going to be looking for questions. Well, she's going to be looking for answers, and nobody is giving her the right answers. Everybody's just like, they don't know. And only person that's going to probably figure it out is going to be Eva Monet. If she is, if she did figure it out in this episode, or it's going to probably be Kane. But Kane is so focused on, like, the business part. He doesn't have too much time to like really like dive in deep into like who actually shot um, Monet. But then again, he he probably will like maybe later on as well. Like whoever finds out the truth first, whoever finds out first, then it'd be like, all right, um, y'all did this, and you was the one that you know pretended to be me to go over to like Kate Egan's house and giving off letters. So. Ooh boy, it's gonna be it's gonna get real good soon. It's gonna get really good soon. And um Oh boy, but you know, comment down below on what you guys think on episode three. Like what do you think is actually gonna probably happen? Right with like regarding like Tariq, Don Carter, OB, Noma, right? What you guys think about that and <laughs> What are your thoughts of, of Uncle Kane and Uncle Drew, right? And and the possibility of the baby not being a St. Patrick and it being a Tahada. Well, it will be a Tahada, but it'd be funny if it is Tariq's and it's not a St. Patrick. They're going to be like, nah, it's going to be um, uh, um, um, Diamond, Diamond Francis Tahada. <laughs> like, I don't know. But uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share.
and I'll catch you all in the next one.